So the session is about test-driven development of infrastructure code. Uh, and uh, I'm Sridevi. Uh, I work as a lead consultant with ThoughtWorks. Uh, I have been in software testing for um, about 10 years now. Uh, I was testing uh, different kinds of applications in a couple of domains, worked on building test frameworks for most part of my career. And uh, um, I also worked on different languages. So that's about me. Uh, this is my uh, Twitter handle and uh, my LinkedIn profile. All right. So why are you here? I would like to understand what your expectations are from the session. What are you expecting to learn here? What is TDD? OK. Yeah. I'm not sure about the new way, but certainly a way. Okay. Yeah, uh, how, uh, how the infrastructure code uh, can fail when the test fails? Mm -hmm. I mean, how it fails and when, uh, how the test passes? Because you know the cycles are very fast. And the infrastructure to uh, have it create and fail. Yeah. And have it. So it's a slow process. Okay, so how tests, uh, how testing can happen against infrastructure code, and uh, how fast or how uh, easy it is to test it, is yeah, I think we'll cover that. Okay, anybody? Okay, this is a demonstration, so I'm going to show only Chef. The concepts I'm sure are going to apply uh, for any configuration management framework. But uh, from my experience, uh, Chef has better testing support than Puppet. It actually comes with out of the box testing frameworks, which I'm going to use here. So Chef, uh, Chef is a configuration management framework. I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, I have a, a small Chef 101 basics uh, kind of a slide. All right, uh, so what is test-driven development? Uh, I think uh, most of you might have attended today's uh, keynote, and uh, the speaker actually spoke in depth about test-driven development. Uh, so he compared tests as automated warning signals in a nuclear uh, power plant, actually. Uh, so, it, so when he was talking about that, I thought, 